Hello guys, welcome again with a new video on the channel. Today's lesson will be the last lesson for this course, where we will talk about the letter connections and we will also sum up the whole course. So without further ado, let's board on the Arabic arc and see what we got to learn. Alright, so the first topic for today is letter connections, which means the connection of a letter with other letters whether it was before it or after it. So let's get into it. So let's start with the letter Aleph. So as we know already, Aleph is never connected in the beginning and can be either connected or not connected in the middle and at the end. Now let's see which letters can be connected to Aleph and which not in Aleph connected form. When Aleph comes in connected form, all other letters can be connected to Aleph if they come before it in a word, except five letters. And those letters are Dal, Dal, Ra, Zain, and Well. However, all letters are never connected to Aleph if they come after it. So before it, all letters are always connected except the five letter that we mentioned. And after it, they are never connected. So if you write letters after Aleph without a second soul, never connect them to it. Now let's move on to see the next bundle of letters. Now with the letters B, T, F, G, H, Kh, Sin, Shin, Sot, Dod, Ta, V, Ain, Rain, F, Qaf, Kaf, Lam, Mim, Nun, H, and Ye. All these letters are always connected in the beginning and can be either connected or not connected in the middle and at the end. Now let's see which letters can be connected to these letters that we just mentioned and which not when they come connected. All letters are always connected to them if they come after them. However, if they come before them, then all letters can be connected to them except six letters. And those letters are Aleph, Dal, Dal, Ra, Zain, and Well. Speaking of letter Dal, Dal, Ra, Zain, and Well. All these five letters are never connected in the beginning and can be either connected or not connected in the middle and at the end. When those five letters come in connected form, all other letters are always connected to them except Aleph, in case they come before it. However, all other letters are never connected to those five letters if they come after them. Alright guys, now that we talked about letter connections, let's move on and give a quick summary on the whole course. Alright. Let's start off with the sound of the letters. Let's begin with the labial letters, which means their sound are produced from the participation of one or both lips. And the labial letters of Arabic are well, meme, and be. Next is labido dental, which means sound reduced using both lips and teeth. And the only labido dental letter of Arabic is letter fe. Now next is the interdental letters, which means their sound are produced by putting the tip of your tongue between both teeth. And the three intendental letters of Arabic are fi, dal, and da. Now moving on to the alveolar letters, which mean their sound are reduced from the alveolar ridge, the area right behind the teeth, and the alveolar letters of Arabic are te, dal, ra, zain, sin, sod, dod, ta, nun, and lam. As for the next letters are the palatal letters, which mean sound reduced from the roof of the mouth and the volatile letters of Arabic are Gim, Sheen, and Ye. Now next are velar letters, which mean their sound are reduced from the back of the mouth, and those letters are Kh, Rain, and Kaf. Next comes the uvelar letters, and the only uvelar sound of Arabic is letter Qaf, and its sound comes from the uvela at the back of the tongue. As for the one before the last is the pharyngeal letters, which mean their sound comes from the back of the throat, and those letters are Ha, and Ain. As for the last one is the glottal letters, and their sound comes from the glottis, and the glottal letter of Arabic is letter He. And that's all when it comes to the sound of Arabic letters. Now let's talk next about the emphatic letters of Arabic. An emphatic means letters that are pronounced with strong and heavy manners, and the back end of the tongue it changes its position as you pronounce those letters. And the emphatic letters of Arabic are Sod, Dod, Ta, Va, and cough. And emphatic letters have their own corresponding non-emphatic letters that are pronounced in a much softer manner and the back end of the tongue is not raised and is relaxed when you pronounce the corresponding non-emphatic letters. And those letters are seen, del, te, and del. 
and that is everything when it comes to emphatic and non-emphatic letters of Arabic. Now let's move on and talk about the dotted letters. So dotted letters means letters that got one or more dots over or below them. And you can either leave the dots at the R or connect the dots together. And the dotted letters of Arabic are B, T, C, Gim, Kh, D, Zain, Shin, Dod, V, Rain, F, Qaf, Noon, and Ye. Alright guys, that was a very quick summary on the whole course. If you wanted all the details, then make sure to check out the previous lesson. And before we end this lesson, let me give you a short quiz now that we finished the whole course. As you can see right now on the screen, there are six words. The first one means boardroom in Arabic. The second one means beautiful in Arabic. The third one means chef in Arabic. The fourth one means frog in Arabic. The fifth one means lemon in Arabic. And the last one means sink in Arabic. Now I want you to take a look at these words and spot the letters in them. Then give me your answer in the comment section below. If you get them right, you get some cookies, which is a pretty good deal I would say. But if you get them wrong, however, then no worries at all. Just go back and watch the whole course, then it will be externally easy for you. I promise. I have confidence in you though. Alright, so that was the end of this course, but obviously not the end of our learning journey because there is more yet to come. And by the way, I would like to set goals with you by the end of every course. It's really good to set goals for yourself. So the end goal of this course is to know how to pronounce the 28 letters of Arabic, how to write them in their general form, how they look in their different form in different positions of a word, and know how to write them in these positions, and eventually, how to spot any letter in any word. Now, if you manage to do all of that, which I know you will do, this will make your learning journey so much easier. And remember, it's totally fine to take your time to learn all of that. That's what we have been saying since the beginning. No need to hurry. Remember, quality over quantity. All right, guys, if you found this course helpful and you learned from it, then make sure to like the videos and subscribe to the channel so you can get all the future lessons and fun stuff. And don't forget to share with other people so they can learn and benefit from it. You can even share your opinions in the comment section below. I'll give you a temporary goodbye for now, because I will always see you in the next Arabic class.